that a good feel yet for how uh, Arthur Smith's offense is going to look? Yeah, um, obviously run first offense, offensive line, we love it. It's kind of O-line friendly, so looking forward to it. And how, how is it O-line friendly? What do you mean by that? Uh, I guess just the run first offense. I mean, no offensive line likes to drop back and pass protection 45 snaps a game. Um, you know, those guys on the other side of the ball, they get paid millions to do that. So, you know, we want to keep them away from doing what they want to do and um, being aggressive and attacking teams on the ground. Is there a mentality that you sort of, hey, we want to dictate terms like this, we want to take the fight to them? Most definitely. And you can feel that in our, our offensive meetings with Arthur, just saying he wants us to be the most physical offense um, in, the off, in the NFL. So, you know, we definitely feel that in our meetings. Do you personally, as we were last week, about having two tackles drop for the last two years, like does this offense, is, like, does it put you in your best situation to hold on to your job? Does it play to your skills? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel I feel so. I mean, I, I, I don't really understand your question. I guess, like, do you think this offense is best suited for how you play? Yeah, so the things you're talking definitely, about, does it definitely, highlight your definitely. skills? Definitely. I think it highlights my athleticism um, and, and running off the ball, which is what I love to do. If you guys can run the ball the way you did in the second half of last season, all season, what kind of numbers do you think you guys can put up in the run game? Oh, uh, man, I don't want to say no numbers, but, you know, it, it definitely could be special for sure. Yeah. How much, what kind of energy do you guys feel from, from Russell Wilson and Justin Fields? I know it's just OTAs and everything, but what does it kind of feel like with them back there? Yeah, I mean, they, they each have their own dynamic. Um, but, you know, they definitely bring energy in their own ways, being leaders on and off the field, um, even even outside of playing, just getting guys together and doing things together. Um, you can definitely feel those guys for sure. Have you done anything together as a group since you've been here at OTAs? What, what are some of the things that they've kind of done to, to facilitate some of that? Well, you know we offensive linemen. You know we got to eat. <laughs> so, you know, they, they didn't took us out wine and down us a little bit. But, yeah. Where are they taking you guys to? Uh, Capital Grill. Just both of them together? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of time do you guys run up at Capital Grill? I don't know. You, you trying to come and, and put down on it? <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with the veteran guards you guys got here, too, you feel like this you know, could be, you know, with the returning guys you have, could be one of the better defenses or offense line. Definitely. Um, you know, I think we have a lot of potential. Uh, we got some older vets with some experience. Um, and really not even older vets. Like when you look at it, guys are still really young in terms of playing years, just experience, um, obviously so much farther along. And then with young guys coming in, bringing energy, obviously we're a super talented room. So um, I think we definitely can be a special group this year. Do you feel like there's a difference in how you guys are practicing and like what the pace of things that you guys are focusing on with Arthur Smith and what he's trying to get you guys to learn in OTAs? I definitely do, just our techniques. Um, emphasizing running off the ball. That's something that you'll see if you pay attention to our indie. Um, that's something that we're really, really focusing on is getting off the ball, running off the ball, and just being aggressive on defenders. You've been here for three years. So you've seen what that's not what it's like when you do, th do things a different way. How do you feel like it's helping you, at least in your mindset, getting ready for training? Ah, oh, man. At this point, with me being so, so far along in my career, I say, um, I mean, I, I kind of already know what to expect, I guess you could say. Um, I'm, I'm just enjoying my time being out there, honestly. I feel like a vet. <laughs> as far as uh, Troy and how he's handling moving over the right, what are you seeing in terms of any struggles he might be having, and is it similar to when you've tried to have to go over there? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think Troy is doing a really good job with his transition. Um, I definitely wouldn't compare him to me because he looks a lot better at right tackle than I did for sure. Um, he has good feet. He's got long arms. He's got a lot of a lot of tools that's going to make him a really good player for sure. Broder enjoying not being the rookie, but you guys can tell what to do all the time now. Nah, we still gonna tell him what to do because he <laughs> needed. But uh, nah, he's uh, he's got some playing experience now, so you know he he knows he's gonna have to step up into a bigger role this year. What do you see that's different about him this year this time around? Um, I I like how he's leading, how he's helping out the younger guys, um, helping out Zach and meeting, sitting next to him and. Troy after practice, um, you know, it's, it's cool to just see a young guy who I was helping last year transition to a leader and now helping that younger guy. That's what it's all about. So what have you tried to improve on since last year? Uh, i say my hands, definitely a pass pro, and my feet, my run game, being grounded, being more stout. Okay. Is there anything specific you do there to talk to Troy or Zach about 
trying to improve for the rest of the week coming in? Uh, not necessarily coming in. I guess the biggest thing for Troy with tackles is just snap count. That's the hardest thing to grasp. As defenders are so much faster off the ball. Um, and then Zach, for him, it's more so of a mental game. Playing center, you got so many things to, memor to, to memorize, snap count, IDs. Um, you know, so just trying to calm him down a little bit, take a little bit of the anxiety away from him and just ease his mind a little bit. What's a guy like um, Nate bring to the center position? Energy. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a really big guy, but he's really athletic. Um, and I love the demeanor that, that Nate plays with. He brings def definitely a physical uh, mindset to our room, which I like. Is it different when he's a center than versus playing, playing guard? I, I don't know. I, I don't know, I, honestly. <laughs>